Let me f*** your little papa. Oh, no, 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 I swear. Let me have your little papa brown, hey? Okay. <laughs> Let me have sex with your little daddy. Oh. <laughs> no, I I'm just gonna I, send that to him. No, see, I just picture his face. His poor, innocent, innocent, fatherly face. Oh, it doesn't matter to me. Anyway, guys, how are we? Episode number 37. Of the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast, we've got 37, 38, 39 to film, and then the live show, which is sold out now, everyone. It's f***ing sold out. The season Congratulations, is almost everyone. done. Congratulations. And man, we've had some wild shit happening. Man, we'll, we'll get into the weekend that just happened because Michael underwent a huge life event. <laughs> yeah, he did. But that man, sounds like surgery, but it's not. Michael's it's all purple. Yeah, holy shit. We posted a video to Instagram today with perfect kit. It was fair though. Everyone, you start yelling at me. It was he had just the same amount of shots on me and my dick. But it just so happened I hit his first. And man, it hit you flush. It was, yeah, perfectly on the center of my dick. And now there my is a c- bruised. <laughs> it's all bruised. It's purple. <laughs> purple and brown. Yeah, purple and brown. And other than that, we've just been fucking filming our little tits off because we're on holidays well we our time off starts in like seven weeks and we've got the finale to organize and we've got to film a bunch of shit so that during our break videos can come out at all times without us having to do shit so fuck man there's so much to do and it's stressful but man did we have a beautiful weekend michael yeah michael. holy shit it was beautiful probably that's i get what they say the best days of your life are like your wedding day or yeah, having kids. So, but what happened to you on this weekend? Was it wedding or kids? Fully got Michael married. Got married. married. Yeah, wow. And just on that quickly, our wives will be joining us next week. All right, our wives. Mm. Isn't that weird? We both oh, have shit. wives now. Yeah, I know. I keep calling a wife. It's yeah. fun. <laughs> have you hit her yet? <laughs> <laughs> Just backs like backhands. Just little oh, backhands. She can't leave now. It's, okay. baby. Like, it's sort of like a game. It's like nice, a nice hit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean I like that. I didn't mean like flatten her out. That's what I meant. Just, yeah, yeah, a, little, yeah. just a little flick like that. You mean like, like get a, yourself together, Matt? <laughs> no, it's like a kinky hit. There you go. So it's like there you go, babe. <sighs> but there, I've got a bruised dick. But anyway, so how was how was the wedding? What happened? Oh man. It was so much fun. Did it you was go? A fun day. Yeah, we literally just like did the weirdest photo shoot yeah. in the morning. We were at James's getting ready with oh, the groomsmen man. and Henry and and little Michael, one of one of our friends from years, and James and me. And man, it was fun at the house beforehand. Elias came in. We did to do some photos, and we just fucking had pillow fights and all this weird shit. Yeah, we did like a slow mo where they sort of carried me in a wheelbarrow and were like using tools <laughs> like around me. Like there's a whippersnipper near my head and and like yeah, a lawn blower. We got on the roof. Yeah. You almost slipped to your death. James's house. Yeah, yeah we like, got on we the roof. And it's really not fucking it's like slant as roll. Yeah, it's fucking sling on the fucking tongue thing was about six grand wrong. And fucking hot. Yeah, we burning me fucking so face. So hot. We were burning and then Marty almost slipped. And then what else did we do? We fucking, we smoked Lying cigars. Oh, what about the shower scene where you oh, pop up yeah. in slow motion? So the boys are naked around me and then I pop up in the middle and brush like yeah, my hair got back weird, in man. slow-mo. This is a lie. No, no, and then I did, you know, the like the dude from Billy Madison that goes, that is correct. Yeah, I know that guy. You did, oh, I did the little like, oh, like bite at the camera. That is correct. Oh, dude, it was fun. <laughs> we got weird. Yeah, and then we had a few beers and then the wedding was so fun. Fuck, I love weddings, especially when you like really know the person getting married well yeah, it's yeah. so fun yeah, when yeah. somebody you really know it's the Cause best because you know most of the people there as well and it's just like fucking great it's just one big excuse to have a huge party I'm gonna put it out there like top three speeches I've ever heard in my life was your wedding speech oh dude oh yeah heaps of people have said that it it's was so nice hale- yeah all of Amber's family was saying it was the best speech they'd ever heard as well but it was better for the people who were so close to you because some of the things that were said were so real and, oh man and he morphed that into this perfect speech and so I'm I'm laughing so loud I could hear myself 
echoing off the wall and Luke's like killed over like like shaking in laughter and I could hear George like he laughs like a strange laugh it's like ah, 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 ah. Yeah. yeah 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 real spaced out it's Try good yeah. <laughs> oh, like Count Dracula almost yeah. and, oh, oh man oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Henry's partner um, uh, Michelle yeah she's like, like yeah she was like almost in tears so funny funny oh man we're it just was, laughing i laughed hard i wish i'm now what i'm scared of is that we didn't record the speeches somebody did record marty speech i saw a phone and it was, i might have been a family member of amber's i'm not sure okay. but somebody was filming that good well yeah oh, i can't believe i didn't get that i should have i should have told someone to film that i thought but, that's elias's job no no he just did i uh, just the ceremony and then i thought someone would just use their phone for the speeches but I forgot to ask someone. So you should ring him up and and say, "Hey, you forgot to film the speeches." We told him to do that. <laughs> I know, but it would be pretty funny <laughs> if you turn around. So maybe we could call him as uh, like now and get really mad as at him as a liar. <laughs> No, no, he'd know I'm really lying because he'd, oh, he'd just be like, "Wow, that guy's got some forgetful memory." <laughs> he literally told me just guilty. to film the ceremony. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we could. But maybe. yeah. Um, yeah, I fucking, um, it was just me pretty much roasting Michael a little bit. And um, yeah, it could have gotten a lot worse, but there are so many stories I could just never set, say to those to all those people there. Oh man, some of them was like, yeah, it was like, we've done this together, blah, this together. We've almost <laughs> OD'd together. I was like, wow, that's like, that was heavy, but everyone <laughs> laughed, so fuck it. I loved the... Um, the- the long you tried to break your record all the time for wearing underpants the same one yeah, yeah. i forgot yeah that was overseas not at school at school it was not showering oh yeah true no but i swear to god you maybe had not it was showering directly after school though. but i remember you doing it where you still lived on, on oh okay well, maybe i've done it a couple times you did not share it might have been after high school but you definitely did the the underwear thing when we were coaching you'd always be proud of it that and socks Oh yes, yeah, socks I never changed too. Yeah, James you're right. bought you to the video shop, and then we'd, we'd always joke because you'd throw your undies out and just go and buy one more pair of undies. Okay, now it's all <laughs> coming back to me. I remember. Yeah, you came yeah. to the video shop once and you hadn't showered in like five days. Well, my record I think was either two weeks or four weeks. I can't really remember. And the smell was it's quite intense. Yeah, I guess you just got to not care. James yeah. said he forced you into the Man, shower. Your socks from coaching that was so fucked after all. They were so hardened. Dude, hardened toes. I have Woolworths memories of like, and you're cleaning floors of deli meat and it soaks through all my shoes that I wore, oh. or my only sh- pair of shoes that I wear to the deli oh. had holes in them. So my socks would always get wet every night and then dry How do you out. You might get in the fungal infections. I don't amazing. know. Maybe, maybe there it is. Did. Maybe you did and you, you well, maybe your he, body adapted. He is himself a fungus and a fungus just adds to him. He grows a bit taller. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I didn't. Well, there you go. But yeah, um, maybe we, there's that. some footage of this speech. We'll, um, I don't know, maybe we'll chuck it up somewhere. But yeah, it was a fucking fun night, man. Holy shit. So good. And man, just getting so drunk. It was so good to just let loose after the fucking speeches and just fucking skull. <laughs> fucking get that shit down my far throat. <laughs> Only thing I've realized is shit about weddings is... 11 is too quickly. It's too yeah, soon it's to shut the quickly. venue. And then going out was so shit, man. It's too hard to coordinate oh, it. Because especially at weddings, people get fucking hammered. So like trying to get everyone in to a venue after a wedding is just a nightmare. So I just fucking didn't last long out. I just went home. Yeah, well, I'm glad we just sort of stayed yeah, in. Yeah, I went but after. What, what else was I going to say? It should be, yeah, the venue should stay open to like I reckon three, yeah. one or that three would be way better yeah because yeah. 11 comes around so quick we had an early wedding so like that was literally what almost 10 hours of drinking for people I think that's most weddings though most venues kick you out around that 11 yeah they do yeah but yeah, most but weddings start around five they fucking shouldn't but this one started at three I wonder if there's a venue that goes just hey we're gonna lock all the doors up you guys go as long as you want yeah, well, that's let, what let you go. If I, yeah, if Amber ever did like a wedding space, I reckon we'd allow it till five. Yeah. Five a.m. weddings. Yeah, would people would so come loose. to you. I would go to a five a.m. over. <laughs> I know you 11. fucking would. Anyway. I would get fucking loose because like everyone would continue to get that drunk. Together. You'd have the three day Man, bender every, wedding. You'd be so sloppy by three a.m. I reckon everyone. There'd probably some shit would happen. Like family members would start fucking each other and all this crazy shit would start <laughs> yeah, going down. Shit, Punch yeah. ups and a stuff. Massive fight. Fuck. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess it'd be a memorable wedding then. Yeah, 100%. But yeah, that's that what very you could fun. call your business memorable weddings. 
or email. Or what, just call it remember. <laughs> remember. <laughs> we love you, little Flola. <laughs> Shala. Remember Shala. weddings. <laughs> Shala. Oh, oh, oh. Oh shit! Do the arms too. Do the arms too. Imagine if that was we had a fucking airbag in that. <laughs> As he's doing that, as he's doing his motion, to snaps his backpack off oh, and just flying a face plane into the roof. <laughs> Not to get the roof. Secular for That's what you say to him as it happens. Oh shit! Dude, it's oh, crazy how airbags don't fucking kill the people that they're deployed on. Have you seen those videos of airbags in chairs? How is that fucking okay to come into your face? Yeah, I guess like it's better than a hard bloody wheel. Yeah, you wouldn't think much better. <laughs> yeah, that is really moving quickly. But like, this, oh man. This, <laughs> uh, oh, we should try and get some just to see. I'd love to see you in a fucking airbag. <laughs> hey. Oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> They're so shockingly loud. <laughs> Set it up. So like, we don't know who, but it's like, we flip a coin and whoever it lands on has to fucking get an airbag go off at the live show. Or imagine- But you don't know when it's coming. Oh yeah, that would be so Oh my cool. God. But so I'm just scared that I'll get hurt. And yeah, then that's okay. it, the live yeah, show. Yeah, you, you know, can get you hurt. Back. You can We'll get like a back. light one that doesn't deploy if too aggressively. You could do it here. Cause if I got hurt, then you could just roll on. We could cut roll Dude, on Dude, imagine this. Yeah. A fucking you, we buy an airbag and we put for a video just put down four pillows and you pick which pillow to sit on and whichever one and then we just fucking blow it up until one of us goes launching well yeah as all, long but, as Matt, all a f an airbag in each pillow and then you lie down they all go off at the same time oh man or only like, one goes off so you flip <laughs> oh fuck yeah I don't know about that you could also <laughs> put them on like if, if there's a way to do it to put them on walls and stuff because yeah. when I had the I had a car accident and they all went off it's it's like bang it's it's fucking terrifying if you don't know it's coming yeah wow and it's loud <laughs> <laughs> oh but anyway so michael's married now and um yeah we'll we'll um i know we said we we're gonna post uh, my wedding footage some of it so uh, we just want to wait for michael's wedding so now we'll just put it a little bit together and we'll just have one full episode of our wedding footage um on the website but yeah we we'll, We'll have to remove some stuff, you know? It's yeah, make it sort hell. of private. Yeah, you know. There'll be a lot of silliness in it. But yeah, you get the, the speeches, hopefully. Yeah. Huh. Um, And fuck, that's what we're up to. Yeah, fuck, we've... What else has happened? What did you do Sunday? Somebody sent me a message out of the blue and said, Michael's staying at my hotel. Do you want to fuck with him? Oh, dude. <laughs> and then he- I, I met think, the, the nicest admit it to guy. You? Shout out to you, Peter. Yeah, that's, he I works, think that's the dude. He works at the hotel and he was such a legend and fucking- Did he know, say he knew Matt? Yeah, yeah. He, he's, he, he came me. to our live show last year. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, wow. No, he was a cool, what did he say? He said, you were at the hotel staying there. And he goes, if you boys want to get someone on the inside, now's the night. Oh man, would you- And we were tempted. Fuckery. Imagine that. We were tempted with him on their oh, wedding God. night. <laughs> Can he just set this fire alarm off in their room? He worked there and he said that if we ever need help with like electrical stuff, we've got his number. He gave me his business card so he can do like our next event and further events for our lives. I wonder if he could, we could get a fence and he could make an electric fence and then we have to do the, that and electric we do, fence. We do daisy chains. I think it's more like audio electrics and shit like shit. that. Shit. But yeah, I was thinking electrifying things too. Mm. Do you remember? Uh, did the circus ever come to town when you? Yes, Matt. Yes. Mm. And everyone used to hold onto the fence together. And no, I didn't go. I didn't go to the circus. No, no you didn't have home. to go to the circus. You just go there and look at the fence, and one person grabs on the electrical fence where the you know the elephants are all the way, and it goes through like six people, and the last person gets fucking destroyed. Really? Wow, so it yeah, it up was energy hilarious. Or some shit. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, it was painful. That happens. Yeah, we have to do that. Yeah, yeah, it goes hospital. through everyone. Well, imagine having a hundred people. It would still do. Work I'm, I'm scared. What if you got to like, I don't know. Well, I saw like eight or nine, but if you got to like 20, I'm sure that'd kill someone. Probably. It can't generate. You can't be <laughs> a human. That can't be a battery. I can't. I don't it believe that. It goes through that. everyone. So everyone used to- I challenge that theory. We did it at school. Everyone used to link arms and, and hold on. And they went straight through and the last person would get destroyed. And that's why Billy was never the same. Yuck, yeah. that's so gross. I would be scared to get a fucking heart attack these days. We're getting a big shock. Oh. 
Fucking fuck your heart up. So you the fuck time you man. cut it, yeah. It's oh crazy. yuck! I still remember the feeling. It's such a gross feeling oh, having electricity took a cord chunk out of the night. I yeah, saw the through that fucking toaster yeah. cord and bang, short circuit of the whole house. Well, and I, took a chunk out of a steel knife. Let me just break this down. You are cutting bread. No, I'm cutting. You put all uh, his weight on the knife. I was next to him. Oh, it you're was the butter, yeah, I'd butter, ever and seen. the and the the packaging of the butter was sitting over the cord. And you just put it on the cord like yeah. a some like a psychopath. Yep. I was stoned out of my mind and didn't realize. It, yeah, I was right next to it. It was the brightest light I'd ever seen. Oh man, imagine if I just died that day. That would have been so disappointing. <laughs> yeah, holy shit, that would be <laughs> such be a shit funny. way to go. God, that would have been. Oh, what was he doing? <laughs> he oh, was so up. baked. Kind of bit of cheese. Was the butter melted? No, it was cheese. Yeah. Oh. It's fucking cheese. It so it was. Butter. But yeah, a cheese kind of is like butter. That really scared me. Yeah. <laughs> We're putting together a fucking scare Ooh. compilation video. Of all of Michael's scares from like the last two years. Oh, man. And fuck me, there's some funny bangers. ones. The best ones on Marty. I've never gotten someone better. It was like, we just got up early for a gym session. It was probably like 5 a.m. So he was so tired. And we were the only person in the gym. So I committed to like screaming. <laughs> And his face, if you pause it when you see it, was the most fear I've ever seen you have. <laughs> Your scream was so good, dude. Yeah. Fuck oh me. my god. You got me good. You got me at the Tocker Courts once, and that was a. That's I've never there. seen more fear in my face. Oh yes, that was good too. Oh, ah! <laughs> 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 We're going to have a massive, hard, socky bong break and then we'll do these sponsors and fucking get in a Marty vs. Michael and Matt. Put it there. Brown? Matt Brown. I used to set up my army men and then throw tennis balls at one side of the room and it would knock a few over and then throw like a <laughs> really? tennis ball as the other team. Okay. Fuck, it was fun. Oh man, let's do that. I miss being a kid. Let's do that on the weekend. <laughs> we're just, as adults, we can buy lots of army men too. We could just have a fun time. You wouldn't have had toys to fucking glad, play with. I'm glad I'm not a child anymore. Did you have, what was your best toy you had as a kid? Oh, we had, we had like, we did have like toys. What was your best toy though? I, like, I don't like, what do you mean in terms of how much it costs? What was your brother's favorite toy? Probably tennis rackets were the biggest deal. Did, what was yeah. your console in your house? Um, I think we, I had, don't we reckon, did have a PlayStation oh, and a shit. PlayStation 2, yeah. I reckon Marty had a PlayStation no, 1. because I did game. But he was, was like 17. <laughs> he was allowed a PlayStation 1 when he was like 17. That's so mean. <laughs> no, we did, have, we did have a fucking, um, we did game. Rob was it in game. German? Yeah, yeah. We got the German yeah. kind, yeah. Because it's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cheap. It's just like an aquarium with a little engine in it, and they call it Achmayak. That's a fish tank. <laughs> you just explained a fish tank. Whoopsie! <laughs> you don't know what that PS2 is. <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting and watching the fish play my all day. PS2, oh, my PS2 was a fish tank. <laughs> my PS2 was a fish tank. We, <laughs> we, had a stick, we had a stick for a controller. <laughs> <laughs> to poke the fish tank with. <laughs> And you feed him, and you feed him for extra points. It's just fucking sea monkeys. Oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, did you have a trampoline? Yeah, we did have a trampoline. Yeah. Was it a shit one though? It was just a normal tramp, like the one we have it here. Did you? You would never have had like a swing set as a kid no, when you were. No, no, no. <laughs> We had I, a legit I had a champ, good yeah. swing set. Oh. <laughs> Seriously. You had a there. what? We had a good trampoline. It lasted the ages. Did you have a slide? A slide? I'd I can't mind remember. Slide. Oh, man. I can't remember. Um, yeah, I remember um, springs would just fly off sometimes. <laughs> 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 And never get put back on. <laughs> yeah, no way. Because <laughs> every now and then one would sling past your head. That's fucked up. I remember dad bought me a new um, T-ball bat for T-ball. 
and I went to the garage and I was hitting tennis balls and there was a little window in the back of the garage and I belted it super hard and I smashed that window. Oh, wow. And I remember dad was like, dad had just given it to me. Oh. And he came down and, and fucking, and dad was there and he's like, he's like, did you just smash that window? And I was like, no. And I just started running. Out of the house. Oh, wow. What about a bike? Did How you have a good bike? You? I was pretty young. That's if you were 22. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I was 10. Did you have a bike? Uh, yeah, I had a few bikes. Yeah, okay. I had one stolen in high school. Skateboard? Yeah, I had a few skateboards. What about rollerblades? Couldn't you wouldn't rock. have never had rollerblades. Yeah, no, I never no, had rollerblades. Couldn't rollerblade. Tried it once. It didn't end well. I was also a very late learner of how to ride a bike as well. Yeah. How old were you? Because no one would uh, take the initiative to try and teach me. <laughs> so I was just, it was in like year six and I still didn't know how to ride a bike. What, did you have training wheels? <laughs> No, That's of course not. I just Dude. had a fucking massive bike. What well, kid can't <laughs> ride a bike at six, man? You're yeah. six. Yeah, it's like, dude, you're like bad. 12 years old. And then I remember there was a fucking bike, like, um, like they were doing like going oh, from like school a to school track? and teaching you about kids about bikes and oh, shit. Oh, bike safety. So I, was like, I remember yeah, bike yeah, safety, so I'm yeah. going to fucking learn how to ride a bike. In, I've got three days and then I learned it and then I was fine. Did they oh, make okay. you do little Quite traffic stops learning. like you're a car and then you ride with your bikes? Yeah, I do remember that. That's I got kicked out shit. straight away. I went through the red light. <laughs> but it was an orange light. I got upset. I was like, man, it was an orange light. You're allowed to go through orange lights. <laughs> She's like, nah, it was red. I was like, it was, it was actually orange. Did you cry? <laughs> nah, I didn't cry. <laughs> well, I, was you, like, you, I was school captain. I don't know if you guys know this, <laughs> yeah. but I was actually school captain. So cool um, kid. Did you ever cry at school? <laughs> nah, not during school. You never cried at school? I don't think so, no. Yeah. Oh, I did once when a kid fucking poured a cup of steaming hot water on me. In kindergarten, <laughs> I would have. <laughs> A steaming hot water poured on you. Uh, yeah, they, what a they stupidly left me and my mate to fucking um, make like the icy poles in the staff kitchen together. You know how they have those hot things where they put yeah, just hot water, yeah, for boiling like water on the wall. Yeah. Away. yeah, we would fucking um, I the, my mate filled a cup up to the brim with hot water, and I grabbed his hand and shook it a little bit, and the hot water went over his over his fingers. <laughs> Yeah. So he got fucking annoyed and went like this <laughs> all down my fucking oh side. Oh my God, that's like assault. It was fucking, and I was just <laughs> screaming all the teachers ran in and they the teachers didn't want to get into trouble. So they yeah, like, played oh, it down to mum. Everything's mom. okay. They called mum and were like, oh, and mum was like, oh, is it bad? And, and they're like, no, 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 it's fine. It's, it's not a bad burn. And then I had to fucking walk home for like 20 minutes. It was just in so much fucking pain. It was horrific. And then mum- burnt? Yeah, I fucking over it. <laughs> What did mum say? She was just like, holy fuck, they told me it was nothing. And then I got to stay home from school for a couple of days. Oh, wow. <laughs> was, mom, was mom like, was she upset? Yeah. What grade was that? I don't know, like year three or four or something. Yeah, that's wow. hectic. So yeah, that would, wow. I used to have a little redhead girl used to pick on me all the time in like year two, maybe three. And she picked on me so much, I didn't know how to deal with her. <laughs> and I, like, I, I said to dad, Greg, I said to Greg, Greg, like she just keeps picking on me and I don't know what to do. And he said, don't worry, what I'll do, we'll, we'll, you line up for class in the morning and, and I'll stand there and watch and just make sure she doesn't do anything. I was like, okay. And this evil bitch literally knew it was my dad, stood there and, and waited. And then he's, and then the teacher came and he's like, all right, I'll see you later and left. And I was like, oh, bye bye. And then as the instant he left, she started poking at me and jabbing at me and <laughs> calling me names. What and year? The year two or three. Oh, and wow, she so picked cute. on me so badly. And as I saw dad drive off, she was going at me. And I just bursted into tears. Oh, really? Did, did uh, it affect me? I still think of her. Do you end up dating her like in your <laughs> No. She okay. disappeared. And I, I was, I, I, I really want to know where she is. Did she go? I want to see a photo. Did she oh leave God. the school? Or she's she the one writing school? the letters, dude. Yeah. <laughs> she's the coder, dude. I I, I want to go through my like my mum's old school photos to see if I can find her. Like she was horrific. Looking. What would you say to her if she was watching right now? I don't know. I just, I just say uh, like it, like the beef is settled. Fucking bitch. Fuck you. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say when I was in year two or three. Oh wow. She never. Did she ever follow you around? Yeah, she'd follow around and pick on me and she'd be like, me being, me being, me being. I think I'd tell- She probably I, liked you. I yeah, think probably. I would, I would tell Esther to fight back. Yeah, no, oh, no, no, oh, we're oh. younger than Esther. Like, yeah. Way younger than Esther. Yeah, yeah, but if, I, if it was Esther's age, it'd be a punch on. Me and the redhead girl going at it. Yeah, fuck, man. Oh, That's man. fucked up. Anyway. Sponsors. Fucking sponsors. 
Um, look, I just want to just get serious for a moment. Um, and like, you know, we have a message from all of us here. Like, you, re- you really only have one life. Like this is it. It's not gonna. You're you're just gonna. You're coasting through, and you just you're like, oh, it'll do, and that kind of shit. You're gonna end up sixty and so sad, so sad that you've wasted your life, Matt Brown. You've done Me. nothing with it, Matt Brown. Me. So please go to Manscaped and take the first step in just taking one step to be a better person, and shave your fucking back. You. F- Shave your back, shave your front, learn how to shave your face. Just start the process, that's it. One small step every single day and you will have gone, your life will be so much better in a year if you do that. Can you stop flicking that shit at me, man? Sorry. You playing with it like that? You think that's appealing for people? 20% off for that? You can have 20% off, fully actual 20, just because they did that. So you get 20% off now. There's a link in the description. Just go and have a look. You, you fucking, fucking cunt. You stupid fucking cunt sitting there doing nothing and thinking that's okay. You can do better. Go and be better. You fucking dumb, hairy fucking pig. You stupid fucking pink bitch. You stupid red haired little s. I'll fucking hit you. I'll hit you, you bitch. Manscaped. Hit, hit, hit. <laughs> That's what dad said to her once. Sorry. Also for women. For girls, too. And of course, AG1, which has 20s, which has 70. I reckon 81. Something between 70 and 80 natural nutrients and minerals in it. Okay. It, like, we're getting to some of our closest friend, uh, fans saying, all right, you've talked to me, you know, I'm trying AG1, and I haven't had heard any bad feedback yet. Not one. It's green. Yeah, mm. it's green. You have one scoop. You feel better. You get shit that you won't get from a normal diet. You can't do it. What, are you going to take 70 supplements a day? Shut up. Shut up. Turn around. Don't look at the screen. Turn around. <laughs> yeah, for a little bit. <laughs> Go to ag1.com slash fully actual and get a free travel pack with our code and it's delivered to your house and just get some health into you. Go on, do something. Wake up to yourself. You're fucked. You're fucked. AG1. <laughs> oh, he's slapping himself. <laughs> Everything all right? And of course, our subscription website where we post weekly half an hour videos and they're fucking insane and there's over 300 on there now. We've got two other content creators and oh my God, the most fucked shit ever is on there. It's the fucking best. It's where we love to make content because we can do whatever the fuck we want. Okay? What's the video coming out this weekend? Well, we tested last week the shitting where you eat. Yeah, yeah. The, Stop you from. Eating. Is it really bad to eat where you shit? You know that saying, oh, don't eat where you shit. <laughs> well, we want to test it, and we have. Results will be out soon. That will only be a website video, obviously. It's fucking disgusting. Um, what is coming out this week? Um, I forget what's coming out this week, but just the week past was the kids' games. Yeah, yeah. Julian? We basically just tortured Julian. Dangerous. Is it dangerous to do kids' games at parties? My, um,. Phone cool. kept going off with the uh, with the cameras, and I realized you guys were doing the you don't shit where you eat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, was, we want to get that. Say, we that wonder angle. what that. I'll see if I can find it. But um, it was you couldn't see much, but yeah, okay. it was at work, and I was like, what are they doing? It keeps going off. <laughs> Do you like watch it, us sometimes? Just when it keeps going off again and again and again and again and again, I'm like, oh, I wonder what's happening out there. Did you see it fucking fly out? No, I turned. I saw like a bit of nastiness, and I was like, that's not oh, for okay. me. <laughs> well, you would have had the that's angle of it freaky, coming onto man. the food. Imagine if that's just getting uploaded somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be on their it'd be on their their database. Somewhere. Oh yeah. man, that's a classic. Oh man, we should invoice him for that. <laughs> anyway. But yeah, I'm not sure what's coming out. What will be out now? It's some good. I remember watching it and being um, and being ha- really happy with it. It was fucking um, the host. No, no, the host documentary that's um, coming out soon too. Fuck, I forget. Anyway, ripping shit out there. Fucking, let's move on. It's Matt versus Michael time. Matt versus Michael. It's Matt versus 
Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. <laughs> Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Yay! Come, come, come have fun. Come, come, come. Oh, oh, who wants to come? Come have fun. Come have fun. Come have fun today. Bottle of cum. <laughs> And it is currently 1916 currently to Michael. And remember, this is for, okay, this is for that. That's what this whole show's all about this season. If Michael wins this one, he wins, right? Yes, Michael needs to win one more. So this is super important, okay? The live show, well, you know, the the Matt vs. Michael sh- segment will just have to end early if fucking Michael wins this one, all right? It is... That's how much of a dom. It's not a complete domination. 1916, very close. <sighs> All right. I sort of want you to win to make it like... You, yeah, whatever. You guys, today, we're going to learn who is the better taster. Taster. Okay. Okay? Now, the things I'm going to... I'm going to have to blindfold you guys, and I'm going to give you each a little drink in a cup. All right? Now, don't freak oh. out. There's nothing like crazy bad... Okay, oh, and I promise like you, spicy mustard. Yeah, no, 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 so no, 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 no. Honestly, we, I pinky promise zero chili ones in there. I just want it's just about taste. Okay, it's not shit. It's not shit. It's, it's not, not piss. It's not something. No, no, nothing like that. I'm being serious. They're out of the items out of the fridge. I do not trust. Not you mince. All. Hey, sorry, mince. Oh yeah, no, no meat of any kind. No <laughs> food. It's all something you you can drink. He meant mince. <laughs> it's not Matt's mitts. Oh my god, that would be so fucked up and good. <laughs> anyway, I'll be right back. I'd be so upset. All right, so we have to be blindfolded. Okay, okay. I've blindfolded the boys, and I have five different tasting cups. I'll hand it to them, and they will drink it, and then they will see if they can guess what the fuck it is. The whoever guesses the most correct wins. Very simple. All right, here comes drink number one. Oh, yuck. I'm scared, dude. Don't be scared. Do we drink the same thing? Yes. <sighs> you promise it's not for Klein I promise you it's not. Yeah. Oh, I know. I can smell. Yeah, Three, can smell two, too. one, go. We have to finish it. I'll just have a little taste of it. And it was, um, I oh. know what that is. Yes. That's mother. All right, Matt, what do you guess? That's the- prime. Prime. Not, and not prime energy, like prime hydration drink. I reckon. Taste American. Incorrect, man. Uh, it is indeed mother. I just drank mother. It didn't even taste like it. Yeah, it's a new flavor. <laughs> Rainbow it sherbet. Is, and it it's is. Just, it's, de- it's delightful. All right, all right. Here we go. So one nil to Michael. All right, come on, man. Here we go. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, mm. ooh. Wait, you meant to drink taste together. Go, Michael. <laughs> what is that? What do you mean? What the fuck? <laughs> That's dope. No, I'll wait. <laughs> oh my god, it's something bad. Is that milk? Is that off milk? No, it's nothing is off. Everything here is edible. Dude, that is like oh good. it's like salmon juice. No, it's not. Oh, it's getting on my fingers. <laughs> oh dude, that's so bad. I'm Oh, I'm, it smell why does it smell? I'm gonna say it's like old oh fuck. I don't know what that is, dude. That is so I'm not bad. Drinking it. I'm not That's drinking like, it. oh, something. You promised us. I did. It's fine. You guys are fine. You'll laugh when I hear when I tell you what it is. Um, I reckon it's Fuck, like no it's like uh, almond milk. Almond milk, Matt. What do you reckon? There's something in it. There's <laughs> nothing in it. I don't like it. It's almond milk. What do you reckon, Matt? You got to yeah. guess. I can't tell. I have no idea. Just normal milk. It is actually cream, guys. Oh, very, very stinks. close. Is that old cream? It, no, it's oh, that's it new, fresh so cream bad. out of the fridge. It, you it love must cream. be off. It it's stinks. not off. It's not it's off. Not oh, maybe it was. Maybe it was sitting out for like half of the first half an hour that's of the podcast. So maybe that's what it was. All right, here we go. Number three. Can you take that. Still out one. <laughs> oh. Oh God, this is gonna be so fucking disgusting. I hate this shit. Everything's okay. I've said to the boys they can have. Oh. It. They only have to have a sip of this one. All right, off you go, Matt. Stop smelling it for fuck's Why sake. You're being smell it? so cheaty right How's now. How's that cheating? You're smelling. Go on, have a quick sip. Oh, dude, <laughs> that's watered down Vegemite. <laughs> what do you reckon, Matt? Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Vegemite too, yeah. No, it's fucking soy sauce. Oh, fuck. I was going to say soy Such a sauce. common thing and like not that bad. Quite, It's very salty, I'll admit, but it's very yum. Anyway, moving on. Just, it, it, is everything off? 
It, oh. That doesn't taste like soy sauce. Oh, dude. We're getting aggravated because right, I'm this losing. Next one, this next one is a food, okay? And I just want you to have a little nibble, all right? Wait, this isn't... A nibble of food, this is fucked. <clears throat> all right, off you go, boys. <laughs> oh, dude. dude this... It's edible. I promise you everything's all good. <laughs> I can't. What do I do? You have a new, little bite. Take take it out of its cup and bite it. No, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't. I don't like it. I don't trust you. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if that's like a weird fish, like <laughs> raw fish. That's it. Can I just say raw fish? Is that okay as an answer? Yeah, yeah that's your answer. Okay, Michael. Raw fish. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. It, it tastes like shit. Oh, dude, it's so sour. Ah. All right, what do you reckon, Matt? Not fucking around. You've had your nibble. You've had your sniff. What do you reckon? Is it like pickled cucumber or something? Oh, oh, fuck! <laughs> is that it? <laughs> yes, it is actually. That's it. not on. Is that Cooper's one? <laughs> yeah, that's oh. the one in the packet outside. Yuck! Oh, that's been off for so <sighs> no, long. No, no, they don't go off. They sit in this fucking juice and they don't go off. It's like it's like having fucking corn in a can. That's the one I bought back. Yeah, okay. I taste still like your fucking fish in the all right, morning. So one all. One all leading into the final finale. The final finale. Here we go. Oh, no. Hush now. Not I food. don't want to do this anymore. Here we go, Matt. Reach your hand out there. And this one again, just a little dunk, dunk your little tongue in and have a little <laughs> fucking around, a little fucking. Oh, <laughs> the smell's not good. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Stick your tongue in it. <laughs> What's that? I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I'm just having a muggle's face right now. <laughs> Does he go uh, first or me? Uh, <laughs> let him taste. That's a bit fucked. More. Let him taste a bit more, and then I'll I'll let you know when he's ready. Here, I can take it off you if you oh, want. Oh, dude, I hate it. Matt, do you want to give me yours? What? Your? What do you reckon it is? I don't know. I didn't get really get a taste of it. Can I have it back? Oh fuck! You're spitting and carrying on. Come on. Oh, sorry. It didn't taste like fucking. <laughs> c it's not. Why is that? How much of a fucking fuss oh, Matt is as well? <sighs> yeah, well, Very you can't see it, so it's terrifying. <laughs> oh, it's just, it's like something. I would oh. eat a tablespoon of that easily. It, what do you reckon it is, Michael? I'm going to go with like a barbecue. I reckon like a steak sauce or some shit. All right, steak oh, sauce. I was going to go a tomato sauce. <laughs> That's your reaction to, to what you think is tomato sauce? I don't sauce. know. It's so hard when you're blindfolded. <laughs> no, it is garlic oh, aioli. That yeah. is fucking that garlic aioli. That is not gay aioli. Oh. <laughs> that is garlic aioli straight out of your fridge, Matt Brown. That is not garlic aioli. Yes, it is, dude. That tasted foul and hard. Yuck. Yeah, it is Garlic bad. aioli is nice and like <laughs> smooth. Is that so? That's, <laughs> that's That means that it was a, a sudden... It's a tie. It's, it's a tie, which means... Paper, scissors, rock. That's who wins this week. It's a 50 50 shot. Well, yeah, right paper, now. scissors, rock to yes. see who actually yes, speak I am. and win. Yep. Right, so can I can, take that's my blindfold off? Yes, take your blindfolds off, boys. Scissors, paper, if rock. If I win this, I win the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, this is it, Matt. The whole fate of the bottle is in your on hand. On scissors, paper, rock. Yep. Fuck. Do you know how often I lose on scissors, paper, rock? Matt, get out of your own head. Get out of your own way. You too can be a champion. You are Matt Brown, descendants of the Browns, owner of the Brown Lands. Owner of the Brown Seas. I don't know if you've seen my Tinder profile, but we lost all our wealth. And now you're going to get it back, and it starts right here. That was right fair. now. Ready? <gasps> Sells this paper, paper rock! rock. Ah! <laughs> Brown Town wins. Brown Town wins. Oh. Did you think you lost then? It looked like you were in pain for a second. To be honest, like, it's exciting now. I want to give you a chance. At least you're like. There's You're something still in the hunt. For. You're yeah. still in the hunt. Makes it more still in the hunt, you fucking. <laughs> You're still in the hunt, you fucking. <laughs> so I'm two now ahead. 1917 to Michael. I felt sick. Still in the hunt, you fucking. <laughs> I felt sick losing just then. That yeah, I was that gonna fish. lose it. I you... swear that's fish at the end. It was so gross. <laughs> you that guys have red disgusting. all over you. Disgusting. Oh, you guys got red all over you, man. Yeah, we got. A have I got some in my mouth? Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you've been kissed with someone with lipstick. <laughs> what is that? What that is not not. It's garlic aioli that mixed is not mixed with red dye. It yeah, is. Oh, it looks that, like beans. That's <laughs> that looks like brain and beans. That's unnatural. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> so much red on your body. 
We haven't gotten Matt a new chair for a while. Next well, we week, got the cool mother fridge. Yeah, that's true. We can put that somewhere else still on set and, and get him a cool new chair. I just realized next week we've got our wives on, like we mentioned. Our wives are going to come on to the potty and just let you guys know what it's like to fucking live with him. <laughs> <laughs> and um, fucking, yeah, what are we doing again? Getting yeah. a new chair. Oh, yeah. So maybe for episode 39, we should get him a new chair. But what are we doing? Q&A now? Wait, what episode no, no. are we at now? 37? No, we're doing Tinder Adventures. Huh? Oh, we're at 37? Yes. Mm, this is 37. So we'll be 38 next week. And then yeah, what, 38 39? will be our wives. 39, new chair, chair. 40 yep. finale. I was thinking you could um, put this as a footrest for you guys in front. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And then that way it's always on screen. <laughs> it's, a plug, it's a fucking plug it in and put some mothers in. Oh, yeah. Nah. <laughs> Even just the cans we've got here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> All right. behind you, touch that. Oh, there's a massive spider. Fuck off. There's a fucking massive spider. This. That on the can. Don't on the do can. This. There. Don't do this. I don't like it. I can't. It's see just it. going behind it. Oh, it's quick. It's quick. Sorry. <laughs> it's not real. Yeah, we lied. T I N D R. We have Matt's Tinder. <laughs> Matthew Brown has lost control. Now these women will lose their souls. All right, guys, now this is a segment where we've taken over Matt's Tinder, right? His profile, so his pictures, his bio, his everything. So these girls think that he's talking to them, but it's really us. And we speak like how we think Matt would speak. And we're trying to find him a partner, even though he already has one. He already has a partner now, but we're just, we're just going to do it for a little bit more. i got a girlfriend. Uh, Matt's got a girlfriend. And I found her on my own. And, <laughs> and he found her on his own and he brought her to the wedding on the weekend. And we met I her did. and she's lovely. She is lovely. All right. She. I N G R. We have Tinder. <laughs> but she didn't come from Tinder. Sorry. Sorry. Whatever you want to tell people, Matt. Look, you make your own mind up at home. She. Sorry. She... Sorry. Sorry. All right. Oh, I mean, I'm ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Some of these are again, and I'm sorry. All right. It's my bad. I. busy. I fucking didn't start these until Sunday again. All right, hey, that's my it's bad. Okay, you had a busy weekend. We all get it. It's yeah, right. it was a busy weekend. Stop all putting right? all the stress on yourself. All right, <clears throat> Matt starts with. Have you ever seen a ghost? Yes. Every morning I get out of, out of bed. Casper appears from the sheets in the form of his my super white legs. It yeah. looks like you like to wear a bit of white too. Shut I'm not just going to have sex with you, Sarah. Tell me about your family. <laughs> It takes a special person to be introduced to my family. I'm keen to understand more about you. the Jackson's Playgrounds picks. Maybe I'm old, but I'm not sure I've heard of it. What type of event is it? And why the white? <clears throat> it's a very exclusive party. I can't really give too many details, but it's the kind of party where you can't bring your phone or cameras inside. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I do. How did you get an invite? Is it because of your social influencer status? Or did you know the homeowner? Oh. Oh, this is great. No. I got an invite because I can get certain things that no one else can. Without me, the party doesn't go ahead. Very mysterious. It looks like fun. So hopefully you had a good time. It was probably the best party I've ever been to. I was barking at the neighbor's cat for like three hours. <laughs> Everyone thought it was hilarious. <laughs> I'm a big deal. <laughs> and then she unmatched. <laughs> she unmatched? After I'm a big deal. Oh, imagine actually committing oh, to, to honest, barking I don't know at a she, cat. Yeah, I, I, that might be an ongoing conversation. She's, if so, she just hasn't replied that for That sounds while. ongoing because I, I, she seemed yeah, wanting to right. know more. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I've got her by the balls. Yeah, aren't? we got her by... Yeah. Right. She loves her. So this lady um, goes on about how she's a really proud homeowner in her bio. So Matt starts with... <clears throat> I own like five houses. They're all worth over $1 million. I love my houses. I drove past them at night and just say to myself, that's mine, <laughs> all mine. There's a sense of security that comes with owning houses, especially five. Is that copy and pasted? <laughs> well, what? No, I just saw your, your proud homeowner in your bio and I am too. Oh, good on you. I think everyone is working hard on this day. I work so hard, and now I have five houses. <laughs> That's so much more than most people. I'm doing so well. Have you ever met a 40-year-old with five houses? I am. 
I'm so, I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. I'm a big deal and I deserve lots of praise and attention. I'm rich and I can provide for my future family. God, I'm so good and cool. How the hell am I single? I scream into my pillow at night when I'm alone. I have five houses. Maybe if I get another house, someone will love me. And that's an ongoing conversation. Oh, that, wow. That might have been the most sickening thing. That is ever. rough. So this is a continuation. Remember that um, girl? She's like, knows. She was like, oh, you hang out with Marty and Michael and Maitland. And then, one and, got angry. And then, and then I started making up rumors about us. Yep. Remember that one? I'll just read the last um, few messages between me and her. But um, here we go. It's probably the huge amounts of meth they smoke. Michael smokes it nonstop. A mate sent me a video of Michael smoking meth at, during a funeral. He was just standing at the back, laughing his ass off, and kept saying, Buy my pies. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's fucked. I have a friend who used to be friends with him. I think she stopped, stopped because of how out of control they got. But she lives close, so she so it can always see their place filled with cars and shit. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Back. Yeah, they've been known to throw their rubbish in the Brisbane River too. Michael always laughs when he doesn't keep saying fly lay, whatever the fuck that means. Who was your friend? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> they sound cuckoo as fuck. I'm not going to read that friend's name. <clears throat> yeah, Michael literally stands in bathrooms and bars trying to put his hands in people's streams. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a real pleasant person, lol. So what brings you to Tinder? What are you looking for? And then I didn't reply to her for a while, and then I started messaging again. Hey, sorry, my phone broke last week, and I finished setting up my new one. God, life is so hard without a phone. It's not how much I rely on it. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, Marty and Michael. So shitty. Michael had sex with like five rats and a fucking dead goat. So gross. I'm on Tinder to find someone. What about you? Oh, that's okay. Sorry, for just reading this now. Yeah, looking to find a connection with someone, hopefully. Michael had sex with a dead bloated thing they found bushwalking. <laughs> I don't think it was a mammal. Michael just texted me. He had sex with feathers last night. What the <laughs> f***? What the f***? He sent me a photo of him shoving the feathers up ass. Marty was filming and was on drugs. Marty just gave the f*** to a little blind boy and put it on his story. Michael plays with Barbies. <laughs> Lol, more than happy to not hear about them two anymore. Michael collects <laughs> waste from under his foreskin and uses it to moisturize his neck. It's a strong odor. Yeah, sorry, I, can't, I just can't believe some of the stuff they do. Marty has asperges. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that is man. ongoing. Like, like, she's probably getting a bit over it, but um, yeah, it's ongoing. Oh, wow. I yeah. wonder... Man, she's definitely not going to stick around. Some emptied his whole u tray full of rubbish into the Brisbane River today. Just got off the phone of the cops. Cops found the He got a massive fine on community service. How are you? So all of this she hasn't replied to, and then she randomly replied. Hey, I'm good. How are you? Did you get my first couple of messages? I helped in stopping this guy polluting. I only picked them up when your most recent came in, and I got a Tinder has detected explicit, explicit language warning. Well done and been blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just passionate about fish and bears. I used to go to Canada to save bears. Did Tinder say anything else about me? I wish Tinder would just stay out of it. I like to be envir environmentally friendly. Less wastage, more confishes, blah, 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 carbon footprint. <laughs> if, I, if it weren't for Tinder, some wouldn't be chatting, blah, 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 <laughs> blah. Yeah, I don't really give a shit about my carbon footprint. I drive a V8 Holden Commodore and hunt. We'll be dead way before anything bad shit happens on this earth. It's all horse shit. I just found a, I just told a Jehovah's Witness to get fucked. <laughs> and that is an ongoing conversation. Well, I love when you blah, 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 blah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I write like massive novels of just nothing. That's what you do. <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> they don't know it's nothing. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, fuck. All right. Another conversation. Oh, so this chick has, I don't want any kids in her bio. Why don't you like kids? Is it because they're dumb as fuck? I don't want to spend my adult life serving a little person. I actually love my life and kids fuck that up. Plus, they're literally so fucking dumb. Really young ones can't even read or write. Did you know that? My nine-year-old nephew still believes in Santa. I had to tell him. Well, if you're comparing kids to an adult intelligent, then yeah, they are. I don't want them, but I don't hate them. Compare their intelligence to anyone at their age, and they're fucking dumb as shit. Teenagers, middle-aged people, hell, even old people are way smarter. I watched a three-year-old walk off a table and face plant. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's an ongoing no way. <laughs> Oh my God. Like, calling kids dumb is so, like, something so harsh about hearing that. 
Just to just to be clear, I don't think kids are dumb. Everyone out there, yeah, right? Well, it's everywhere. just a we joke. Like I drank boiling water accidentally, <laughs> straight from the kettle into the cup, and I got distracted and picked it up and drank it like it was room temperature. Huge scars all around my mouth and my esophagus. My esophagus sizzled and tightened. Well, that's quite the opening message. Yeah, I did go to hospital for like four days. They took skin from my ass and grafted it onto my mouth and cheek. What about you? Have you ever been horrifically burnt? No, <laughs> thankfully I'm not like that. <laughs> I'm glad it happened. It shows me someone, someone's values immediately. I can know more about someone in five minutes than anyone can. Okay, I'll buy it. How so? Because if a girl doesn't kiss me, I know straight away that she's super shallow and nasty and only cares about looks. But if they do kiss me, then they're clearly prioritizing personality over looks and they're good people. Yeah, that's a good point you make. Would you kiss me unmatched? <laughs> oh my God, dude. Wow. That is fucking gold. It's so shocking what they unmatch on. Oh shit! Oh, how do you think of that? Oh my god, dude! So there you have it, everyone. The Tinder adventures have worked, and now Matt is in a relationship. No, they didn't well, work because of the Tinder adventures. They worked because I went. You out would there. have been on Tinder if I wasn't on Tinder, and you would have gotten hooked up with the wrong bitch again. You and you're hooking up with the wrong. Let me finish. I do agree that if you didn't take me out of Tinder by putting me in Tinder, I would be on Tinder. And he would have found someone else. And I would have been in the wrong relationship. So you are welcome. Also, well, that's a good way to look at it. Also, <laughs> you guys helped me gain the confidence to be more myself. Went out in the place meeting people and that way I got to be me and and me is what she fell for. Yeah, so we gave you that confidence. That's our so fault. fucking... We did it. We married you, pretty much. Well, I'm not married yet. Well, I got married. He's got married. Maybe, Maybe you'll you be next to married. be married. I don't think I'm next, but I'm definitely on the way. Well, there you go. <sighs> yeah, man, we've had a lot of weddings. All right, everybody. You have all the questions, and we have all the answers, and we've got lots of dances for you. Um, uh, so this is the Q&A where we answer your questions live. We answer everything. A, a <sighs> comment on the Mighty Michael fully actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. If you Once you've co uh, commented your questions, scroll through and like the other questions you want us to answer. Remember, we're two weeks behind, I mean ahead of you, okay? So the an answers to your questions aren't going to come out the week after, are they? Mm. No, no, because they've commented. It's two weeks away. Yeah, yeah. They've commented, you commented on this two weeks ago. We're Sorry. already two ahead. I hope that makes sense. But we'll get there in the end. Um, yeah. This one got a lot of likes. Oh. Now, does everyone remember the video of you destroying everyone as they came to work? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's related to that. Top question went to Joey Evans, 8059. Um, how, uh, question for the podcast. How mad was Matt Brown after the mess Michael made in the house in the last website video? Don't be late. Well, we do it pretty, pretty clean. We, we do a pretty good job of cleaning. No, you don't. That was clean. That was pretty. No, clean. you did not. How dare you think that's clean? <laughs> you, you're married now. If you're gonna accept that as I clean, right. you'll be divorced. Oh, what, what with the red specks? I mean, there were a few red specks. The door yeah. is still dirty. Oh, the door's a door. The door's only what you. But go see, in see, there. look now. We've now we've gone down. Our door's a door, right? <laughs> I reckon But there is specs everywhere My shoes got covered You didn't clean those Did you? I had to clean those Look, I didn't know that We'll I get a cleaner clean to come in Soon For like A cleaner's not gonna come And clean that <laughs> Yeah they will <laughs> We always do that Answer my question I wasn't that mad Because the video Was pretty funny Oh man But It could have gone I so did wrong notice. I did notice It could have got so wrong Did notice How dirty it could've got hurt How dirty it was Oh yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, go. that was a pretty messy one. But no, one. I wasn't angry. It was a pretty funny video. I do accept. It was, yeah. I almost slipped and died. That's so probably what lucky. fucked my back. Even just that <laughs> oh, yeah, jolt. Maybe. Yeah, you're trying to control your fall. Holy but it, shit. It's a bit of a delayed thing, though. Yeah. I guess it, it was only a couple of days after that it happened, right? Well, I think it was like a week after, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe. I'm just confused with time. Um, um, next question is from, from Tezza. Zero 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 one one one. 
Um, I've been watching a lot of old videos and I want to know why Connor and James's faces are blurred out in some of the old videos. Were they embarrassed? Question mark. Connor? I can't I remember why Connor would be blurred out. Not sure, but then definitely refers to James. Yeah, James used to be a primary school teacher. So when um, we caught up and he would come and watch us um, film, he'd sometimes be in the background and he literally couldn't be in these videos because they were fucked up and he was a primary school teacher. And the couple of times he was in a TikTok video, that all the comments were like, oh, Mr. Lee. Yeah, they spotted so it's him like once. you don't want to yeah. fucking, you don't want to, um, you know, put it's the teachers claim. out there, especially in our kind of content. That's why. Next question is from Matt Sheehan, 5326. Um, will you guys ever make Matt Brown do the stunts that you boys used to yes. do? Yes. Three, two, one. Would you go for clang, 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 clang? Yeah, yeah I'd, do, boys. I'd do a few like um, pain ones and things like that if it was needed. I wouldn't mind jumping in. Stand on an ant's nest? Yeah, oh, I'd man. stand on an ant's nest if it was needed. We did well in Brown Golf. We came back. Yeah, Brown Golf was, I, I went further than I thought I would. I got pissed on, I got covered in paint. Um, not that they're big stunts or anything. Maybe we could do like a pain one. I just want to play golf. Sorry. <laughs> pain oh, golf. oh, that just reminds me of something. Um, I don't know if this is going to make sense, but I was um, screenshotting the questions and I realized that in the last episode we did, you said, what do people think's better, golf or movies and stickers? And the results are quite oh, outstanding. Yeah. See, I realized- anyway, save that for next episode. So they have they have come back and said They have what? come back and I will bring you a diagram. What, okay, they, look. What, they want no, 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 no. We can't do it now. It's for the next episode. Next question is from Alex Main 46 um, Was there a moment when you were creating videos that you noticed things were taking off for you? Example, um, more views, more money earned. What was it, that like? Yeah, I think once we fucking... Um, filmed with that that when we started filming um the, the prank style vids with like on each other more than the social experiments that's when things kind of fucking started going you always yeah you just fucked with me at parties and when i was smoking and then people liked it yeah and um the pain shit though we always did the pain shit but only like we just sort of did in between pranks we do pain shit and fucking so now we just do both <laughs> yeah that's right the live streams the live streams took a while, but then we cut them up later and then they yeah. were like live. And that's why they're such shit quality, some of them, because it was like shit internet and we're live and yeah. it records it all flickery. And old, <laughs> older phones too. Yeah, and older phones. Mm. But man, we used to go live every Wednesday at midday. Was it Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday. I used to come Thursdays. home from, I was on my way from work and yeah. I'm like, what's on the live? That's and right. then we'd fucking be doing the most insane shit on Facebook. Hitting fucking thumbtack tennis balls into each other. They used to be allowed. You could do anything yeah, for a while. Man, that was intense. Remember, I slammed one into you and you're like, get him out, get him out, get him man, out. I can't believe the golf ball ones were pretty intense. Like that could have gone, could have died when That's when it started. We're like, oh, we're going to hit golf balls each other. And I remember texting a few friends being like, oh, is this dumb? Because I don't really play, I hadn't played golf at all at that stage. And they're like, dude, don't do this. This is fucking bad. Yeah, this could go really I think wrong. we had like buckets for helmets. Yeah. Could have gone straight through the bucket. Yeah, you did have buckets. It's it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Just fucking. And remember, there was some that that went like a hundred so far. Because you, fuck Marty's not good at like being able to take back on the swing back then. He'd just connect all of a sudden. And it would just go. If it had to hit me, I would have died, I reckon, some shot. <laughs> oh, we took it to the chest as well. Oh, yuck. Dude, remember on sternum. Our knees, yeah? Oh, fuck. That's so dumb. <laughs> you, I got your knee. That's right. Anyway, let's move on. Sorry. Next, Next question, question is from, from Pratty. Um, um, uh, when people get to the live show, um, will they get to choose their own seats or are they allocated? No, you, you go, it'll be basically first in best dress. Okay, so you, you come in, there's 280 seats for you guys. Um, so yeah, it'll just be the earlier you come, the more you are rewarded with seat selection. I'm sorry. There was, are some reserved for family and friends. Yeah, yeah, there's a row like reserved for, for family and friends. Next question is from Father William. Um, will Matt's Tinder adventures continue into next season? No, I don't. I don't think so. But he might be looking into Grinder now. He's got a woman. He might want a man. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh huh. Thank you. Of both. <laughs> don't put one that of out each. There. Oh, no, I'm good. Oh, please, one of each. I get to talk to boys for you. Maybe you can help me try and keep my wife. Girlfriend. Oh, maybe. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah. Imagine. Yeah, of course, bro. Yeah. We give you tips where I have to play the your partner, and you, we see how gentlemanlike you are. We'll talk about it. That's a great idea. 
<laughs> See how gentlemen he is. Tips for brown. Brown tips. <laughs> tits for brown. <laughs> and I'll have tits. <laughs> we'll talk about it. Okay. Tits for brown. Um, yeah. But yeah, the fucking finale is going to be off chops, man. Mm. I'm pretty excited, eh? It's going to be a good time. It's exciting. <sighs> you, you have... Ah, fuck it. What, what, we... What, um, um, Gibby3868 said Scenario for Matt How much do we put on life support for five days? <laughs> oh wow <laughs> Wait do you have Can you just get like induced into it? Or do you have to say get like knocked that's out? Just, that's all they I'd put. say so Induced into a coma And on life support for five days Fuck that is No way uh, Man uh, But you have to say it I'd probably go If it was just induced Maybe like I'd, I'd want a lot of money I'd 50 want, mil? Yeah Yeah it's yeah. getting up into the tens of millions for me. Yeah, I agree. Or no, nah, ten mil would do it. Ten million in cash. Yeah, you'd have to do it. You'd yeah. have to try it because it. You're either you you ruin your life at that point, but there's a pretty good chance you're going to be okay, and you really really improve it. Yeah. <laughs> Flipper boy one one nine bets you boys a thousand dollars that Brown can't maintain his relationship for more than <laughs> six months. <laughs> oh my god. We have faith, Brown. Well, there uh, it is. Or Flipper. Message the boys because I'm pretty sure they're going to take that bet. How much is it? $1,000. Yeah, yeah no, we'll I take it. We'll I've take got it. belief in you. Yeah, that's what I mean. We'll, ta- we'll take that bet. Sorry. Dylan's 2376 says, um, would you ever do this website uh, video idea? Who's the better exterminator? Release bugs in a controlled environment. And um, who's the better exterminator? Uh, yeah, that would be a whole video of us killing bugs and shit. It's yeah. probably not good to get... Uh, maybe we could... Get like in be in a room of thousands of bugs and whoever lasts the longest wins. Oh, that's a good oh, idea. And keep releasing more and more and more. Yeah, we just keep yeah. dumping bugs and bugs and bugs into put in a tent or something. Yeah, we'll call, dude, like that's not a bad idea, man. Forty-eight hours in a room. Oh, just, that's actually great, dude. dude, dude I'd probably dude, fucking lose dude. my mind. The longer you stay in there, the worse the oh. bugs get. Dude, yeah, like scorpions and shit. Yeah, snakes. I okay. would hate that, man. We'll chuck a rat in there. <laughs> oh. In a Dude, tent. That would be so funny, man. <laughs> they were doing that. That's great. <sighs> yeah, well done, dude. Okay. But, um, not the idea oh, you were thinking yuck. of, but it's could it could turn into something great. Imagine a crocodile in there. Oh yeah. yeah. It's not, much, a, it's not really an electric bug. eel. An electric <laughs> eel. <laughs> no water. <laughs> <laughs> just flopping around, dying slowly. We <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, just sit in the corner. Watch it. It's nowhere near us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Then I leave. <laughs> All oh. right, two more questions. Let's get this done. <laughs> Laying with the eagle. Um, this one's from Gilbert Games. <laughs> um, what made you guys stick together and hang out all the time um, uh, after school? He goes, for him, a, a lot of the people he knew after school, no one hangs out anymore, but you guys seem to stick together through thick and thin yeah well that's just what you do with your mates isn't it you just fucking keep hanging out when yeah. we have a weird spare time we'd hang out with a lot of mutual friends and our friends became friends and then we just had this big group of fucking legends and you just grow old together I like, my, like most of mine I only see a couple every like year or so and then there's one which is Aaron Shanks I usually see him a fair bit Suzuki oh Suzuki I didn't go to school with oh, okay yeah shout out to Suzuki Broom, <laughs> 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 yeah. broom. all right final question Sorry. Uh, it's from Mike G1074. Do you guys ever hire a cleaner to clean up after your pranks and skits? Oh, sometimes. Very rarely. Very rarely. But um Well we got to clean it. No, we didn't. Very rarely. Say for that for that uh very yeah, well, rarely. Maybe we, should, we haven't had a cleaner through here for a while, maybe we should Very rarely. Going, eh? Yeah, yeah. Very but rarely. It's getting a bit muddy and Michael. Yeah, it is very rarely that you get a cleaner in. It looks it's fine very out rarely there. that you clean. It's fine out there. Because somebody cleans. It looks great. I cleaned. Sometimes. Look, maybe how much is a cleaner? I can't imagine a cleaner is that much. We don't need a cleaner. Okay. We can get this done ourselves. Um, what I will say is that I have been neglecting it at some points because I just don't have the time. Oh, man. And it's, it's fucking- hard. Because sometimes you guys, these guys actually film so hard sometimes. What is it? Five, six videos a day? No. Yeah. Like the little games, yeah, and like stuff. the little yeah. different games, and sometimes they don't even get them finished, and they have to do them again later. And so the the piles of different artifacts that I find when I come home is is pretty wild. I just thought, wait, we have got bloody key Ave. 
let's move fucking right along and bloody end this with a big old explosion right down your back and throat. Prank all time, man. This prank call is sponsored by Mother. Whoa, deflection. I don't like that, man. Sorry. <laughs> Still 40 minutes. Hello, this is... Hey, how are you? Um, my name's Margaret. Um, is this a yoga studio? So, um, in terms of you guys doing classes and stuff, do you guys do classes? Yes, we do. Sorry, who's calling? Uh, my name's Margaret, and I'm just um, curious to see if I can book uh, myself and maybe my son in for some um, yoga classes. Right. When were you thinking of coming? Um, so I'm just asking about the availability, the availability, darling. Um, are you guys, are you guys like open on weekends? Is it more of a weekday thing? M- mornings, afternoons? Yeah. Okay. It just sorry, you just sounded like um, uh, you're not a real person through my phone, so I wasn't sure what was going on there. Um, oh, that's a bit strange. I'm not sure what's going on there, yeah. darling. I can hear you perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, and to, accu- it, to, to be it, quite it, honest, to, to accuse me of being a robot is, is a little bit extreme, if I'm being honest with you. I've called up, okay, asking for business, and you're, you're saying to me that you don't think I'm a real person. Don't you think that's a little bit rude, Dolly? I beg your pardon? I've, I'm asking you, okay, for your opening hours, right, and all you're telling me is that you don't think that I'm a real human being. I'm so sorry, I just had this call redirected to my mobile phone rather than to the business phone. Yeah, well, look, darling, you've you've really put a sour taste in my mouth, darling, and I was asking for some success for me and my son. I'm really sorry if I've upset you, and I apologise, but please, yelling at me is not going to make it any better, okay. and yeah. it won't give you the answers that you want, okay. is it? Yeah. No, that's 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 fair enough. And look, I apologise for losing my temper. Yeah, I, I'm just I'm just a little bit on edge at the moment. Um, hence the uh, yearning for some yoga. Yeah. Okay. So now that uh, we're back to um, where you, where you started originally before <laughs> I threw a spanner yeah. in the work. Um, so, um, I can just bring up because I literally just walked in the door, but I've taken these concerts. So, we have yoga classes <laughs> Monday to Sunday. Yep, yeah. Yes. We have classes in the morning, Monday to Friday at 5.30. They vary between Pilates, hot Pilates and hot yoga. Great, okay. What particular class are you looking for? Um, look, we're, we're very beginner level. Um, I, I used to do a little bit of yoga maybe five or six years ago, and my son's never, ever done it before. So um, maybe some kind of beginner class, or do you guys have that? Or Yeah. We can cater for all levels with most oh, classes. Oh, that's great. Okay, that's great to hear. Yeah. Okay, well, um, maybe how's at later in the week usually, Thursday, Friday, my schedule starts to clear up. So is there anything... Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, man. That was so rough. Oh, oh my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh. He's like, well, anyway, now that we're back on track, and after you threw that spanner in the works, that's what she says. Oh. I like, screamed at me. <laughs> you oh my her, God. She handled that very well. What a what a um, uh, emotionally intelligent lady that was. She was very polite. So yeah. I guess well, we're just are, showing though. how lovely society is, especially <laughs> yoga teachers. She, I wonder what she must be walking away thinking right now. So she's just shaking her head like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> she's just sitting down for dinner. I might have thought like you were some like fucking bot. Just doing like <laughs> Margaret calls sounds like around. a robot. Because I was wondering why she was taking so long to reply at the start. She was kind of like sounding really confused. And yeah, I was like, why do you sound confused? Margaret does sound like a one of a kind girl that you just never come across in real life, dude. <laughs> Making sure it's not a robot. You know how we get that alcohol robot dude call us all the time? Yeah, it's yeah. probably the same thing. Oh, yeah. That's what she probably thought it was. But holy shit. Anyway. Was, yeah. <laughs> oh, that yells. Man, I, w- I would have loved to have seen her reaction to like if Bront was like yeah, a no, little bit. Yeah. Oh. Well, we can do that one again. We can That's try that one again. Oh. 
Um, but yeah, guys, there you fucking have it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give us a five star review on oh, Spotify because as long as they keep growing, we can keep this train of chug, chug, chugging along. And next season, we're going to really fucking fuck shit up. You got some fucking crazy shit coming your way, babies. So let's fucking suck each other off and fuck ass. And we're the fucking best, bitch. Let's fucking get up and root. We're the B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T best. best. We're the B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T-B-E-S-T